It's week of November 10th, Calgary. Share it here for UMTV. A great week ahead of us. Now we got a speaking engagement, some whiskey tasting, we've got a fashion gala, and a great interview with Brent Ray Fraser. Great artist, great man, a lot of fun to see. All that and more coming up next. Hi Calgary, it is week of November 10th and we have a wonderful week for you. Let's start off at Monday at the Westin. Uh, a luncheon with John Wood. He is the founder of The Reading Room. Now, I don't know if you guys know about The Reading Room, but it is a foundation that promotes literacy around the world for children. A great cause, a great day, and a great venue for John Wood to present. Now, Tuesday, why do we wear the poppy, guys? It is Remembrance Day. The military museums at Crow Child Trail will be having a service. Uh, where there'll be a performance by the King's Own Calgary Regimental Band. Um, a day not to be missed, a day to remember. Uh, a day for all of you. More to come right after this. We're back, guys. Now, I know you had a nice, somber little Tuesday with Remembrance Day, but now it is time to have a drink. Uh, whiskey Festival going on at the Willow Park Wines and Spirit. Uh, the name says it all. Uh, you want to have a stiff drink and uh, then some Scottish dancers. This should not be one to be missed. A great drink, a great place, the Willow Park Wines and Spirits on Wednesday night. Thursday. Now, you guys know where the Artware 2008 Hotel Arts, let's talk about it. There's a special VIP reception at the Art Gallery in Calgary, and then they'll shuttle you all down to Hotel Arts. Now, you guys know about this place. Um, first of all, we want to give some special shout outs to our uh, general uh, and extreme talented uh, mixologist there, Fran Swinton and Louise Perez. Guys, you're always serving us up some great drinks. But this is where um, Calgary's hands-on curriculum based on arts and education programs for school groups from kindergarten to grade 12. It's a great event, supports the arts with children, with youth. You know, in this economic age, when you can't find something good to do in a job, you can promote creativity and culture at great events like this. Guys, more to come for the weekend right after this. It's the weekend, Calgary. Friday, suicide girl party at Snatch. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever been to the website, but if you Google it, you can, have see, you can see some things that are quite vivid, quite self-explanatory, and Snatch is going to be a venue for a great evening. Now, let's just put it this way. Um, these girls will come down. Uh, there'll be a lot of visual performance. They'll probably be showing a lot of pictures. Um, they're pinup girls with a twist. Playboy says... Suicide Girls is cool. Wired Magazine said, it's like punk rock Vogue. I gotta be there. I gotta see it. Guys, Snatch, Friday night. Let's get right on to Saturday. It is a wonderful evening, a great event, a lot of money to be raised, and not, not something to be missed. The 15th annual charity wine auction at Willow Park Wines and Spirits again, um, near South Center. Now, there's something interesting about this evening. Now, along with some great drinks, a uh, great ambience of people, some wine connoisseurs, and some great buys. You will also be able to purchase, I'm assuming through auction, a very special, special type of drink by Glenn Fittick. Now, Glenn Fittick has come up with an idea, and as you know, uh, my good friend Warren had said to me, it's like an alcoholic time capsule. Now, this is where you can bid on a fantastic 100-year-old whiskey, but you might not be able to drink it because it's being distilled the day you buy it. So maybe your kids or your grandkids, or if old granny's still out there, she can enjoy that whiskey. Yes, they brew it right, or they distill it right then, and then 100 years later, you actually get this. So I think it's something, a future buy, something you could put away for um, your great grandkids' uh, wedding. You might not be there, but the Glenn Fiddick will. Sunday's going to be quite an amazing day. Imagine Alice in Wonderland, where, you know, altered realities, altered dreams form into a great display of uh, visual characters in a story. Jeff Spaulding, the president and CEO of the Glembo Museum, has actually brought that reality, or altered reality, into a display. It's called Through the Looking Glass. And uh, this art exhibition is quite amazing, quite imaginative, and even Vancouver's Biennale had sent some amazing um, art sculpture, one in particular that is just quite amazing, quite vivid. This is the last Sunday to actually catch such a display. And if you really, really want to see amazing art right in front of you with a twist, it's not to be missed. More to come right after this great interview. Hi guys, welcome back to Urban Mixer. UMTV for you guys out there, Cherid, your regular host. Now guys, 
we have a really fun interview for you today. We have Brent Ray Fraser in the house. Thank you so much for coming to UMTV. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Brent, tell me a little bit about your life, if not a lot. What is it that you do? I paint full time out in uh, Fort Langley at my uh, my silo studio. Now, when we talk, when we th when we're thinking, you know, out in Langley painting away, we're not painting, you know, big buildings. We're not painting, you know, furniture. We're painting art. He's a very uh, talented and uh, very progressive visual artist. Tell us about the work you do. Uh, right now I'm, I'm painting large scale works. Uh, it's like a, a huge stage as opposed to a small one. It lets me be more free while I'm painting and whatnot. How did you get into painting and art and, and what, what drove you to that? Jeez, direction? I've been I've been making artwork since I was, you know, since kindergarten when I got finger paints and funny enough I don't use brushes anymore. I paint with my hands and the rest of my body. Wow. And performance based now, is there a lot of messaging behind your uh, artwork or do you prepare with, with, a, with a thought in mind or do you just go for it? Uh, performance based, it's, it's one of the things that I do. I am an artist who paints uh, in my studio and I videotape every single thing that I do while I'm painting. Because I do performance art, the performance aspect started coming out during the process of creating the artwork. So I make artwork that is geared towards making short films afterwards in post-production. How, how do you connect or disconnect from everyone that's all around you just, just like staring at your work and how do you concentrate and stay on that or do you find that you connect with the audience? How does it work for you? The creative space is more of a, it's a, more of a mental zone for me. So yeah. even though I have two or three hundred people watching me or a video camera, I tend to like zone it out. Audience. Audience, yeah. yeah. So I zone it out and go into a kind of a, I don't, I'm not sure what you would call it. Uh, well, it's a trance, I guess. It's a trance of some sort that just blocks everything out where I can go into that creative field. Now, I was doing a little bit of research on Brent, and uh, I found out some cool stuff, and something popped out in my face, Louis Vuitton. Now, when I think of handbags, I think of really popular culture and really cool stuff. Louis Vuitton's right on top of that list. How did you get involved? I mean, you're drawing shoes? Is that what I saw? Louis Vuitton is up there with the best fashion clothing, I'd say so. you know, around, right? Uh, they, they sell tons of bags. Their <laughs> shoe line had needed a, a pick-me-up. Okay. So, they saw an article about me in Flare magazine in June 2008 uh, that's advertising that I do commission shoe paintings and drawings for those who ever want them. Uh, that idea came from a woman that I know, her name is Jen D, who said, why don't you, instead of drawing the st stripper stilettos that I, that I used to do back then, why don't you do high-end shoes and start doing commission shoe drawings? So, started doing them, started loving doing them, started doing more and more and doing them really fast and really quick. So I'd have women line up at events and it's kind of funny because when they're lining up they're actually budging in line to get in front of others what an fighting amazing and stuff experience to get you know to come and put their their <laughs> feet on my lap and draw it nice and quick right where do i sign up <laughs> so the events <laughs> at the events everybody leaves with a drawing and the quicker yeah. i do it the more people are happy at the end yeah and so you did this in Toronto, is that right? I did it in Toronto and then in Edmonton, and right now it's kind of pending as to where we're going to go next. Well, there you have it, guys. A lot from a great artist. Uh, if you want to know more, you can go to BrentRayFraser.com or all that and more at UrbanMixer.com. You know, Calgary, I hope you had a good time because I certainly did. But hold on to your seats. We'll be right back. Okay, Calgary, we've had a great week. You know what? That's enough of me. i got to get out of here. We leave you with Gang Gang Dance. See you next week.